Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. Uh, this is Fitz from the present moment. Just stopping by to tell you that we had a few problems getting this podcast out, and so you may notice that a few of our talking points are a little bit dated. This was actually the first podcast we recorded after our break, but it's still a banger, so I'm sure you'll enjoy. So enjoy. Hello and welcome back to the Misfits Podcast. I'm joined by my fellow lunatics fresh from the asylum. We've got Toby on the tally. Ah! <laughs> We've got good guy Fitz. G'day, how you doing? Yeah, not too bad. We've got Zuckles. The walls are closing. And our good friend Matt Einatoris. <laughs> Great, now you can't yeah. hear us, it's perfect. Some of these people seem way too Now we can sane. talk as much shit as we want. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. Excuse so me, so I can't hear you until I put these back him. on. Top knot boy. Can't what stand about I love him. Love I said him. not oh, boy. Yeah. Why, do you, why, do you, why don't you let your hair down for this podcast? Get a little crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's chilly, man. It's chilly, exactly. It's chilly. If you have your hair down, does it look like a mullet? Does it? No. Okay. It looks good. He looks like a he looks like a Renaissance king. No, it does. I saw it when we went to the snow. He looked like a samurai. It's a rare Pepe. Like a what? It's a rare Pepe. What does that See mean? See the hair down. What's a Pepe? It's rare. You know what? a Pepe? No, what's what's that? It's a small frog that's racist. Small frog that's racist. <laughs> <laughs> Saying it's a rare small frog that's racist. Yeah, so yeah. I don't yeah. understand. That's how you think you look that's with your I head down. That's how you keep them contained, you know? Okay. Keep them all tied it's, a up. it's a frog native to South Africa. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that makes a lot of sense. Plenty of sense. That's the place for it. So how are we? <laughs> it's, it's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been a while since we've done a podcast. It's been, what, two months, three months, yeah, a year? Three months. I can't even remember, man. It's been a hot minute. Last podcast we Cold said minute. we would be uh, doing them a little less frequently, and we definitely kept that yeah, promise. Yeah, we kept the promise, <laughs> you know, that's, a, that's a first for us. We it's kept the good uh, promise. Welcome. A little round of applause for that. Yeah, that was actually really easy to keep that promise. <laughs> I'm not gonna clap with you. Yeah, I've got a beer. I'm wheel, I'm welding a beer right now. You, you're welding. Wielding a beer. You're wielding a beer. <laughs> Mason's yeah. got a whole ass jug of beer. Yeah, yeah he's got a little flame. This was actually filled to the brim, and um, I've sculled the whole thing. Yeah, there used Proud to be some it. flowers in it, but they died. Yeah, <laughs> turns out beer doesn't, you know, keep flowers alive. <laughs> anyway, guys, we hope you haven't missed us too dearly. Although I'm sure that you have. Um, we've missed you too, to tell you the truth. We we keep saying like, oh man, remember when we did a podcast every week, and everyone's like, oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was that was all right. That was something. So we definitely <laughs> <laughs> no, we have missed you. We have. And it's Absolutely. very good to be back. It's good to see you again. Hello. Hi. Hope you've been well. Hello. You're probably all grown up by now. Probably all big boys and girls. Yeah, you probably yeah. ride on so uh, like like trains, public transport by yourself now. Yeah. Doing drugs on the weekend. Yep. Selling drugs on a weekday. <laughs> Just making making a living, getting by. Side hustle. And good for you too. You know, it's hard in this world. You're gonna make a you're gonna make a little bit of cash when you can. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't pay for the prostitutes. It's true. And then who are you going to kill? They do get expensive. Modern life is expensive. Yeah. You know, I just have so much uh, desire for all things, and it just keep on. It keeps on adding up in cost. All things. All things. You just got a desire for prostitutes, everything. candles. Yep. <laughs> food. Those are all the things. It all adds up in cost. <laughs> Every time I buy something, I just want something else. Yeah. I'm starting to think this whole capitalism thing is a joke. It's not actually worth investing in. This is be communists. Yeah. I've decided I no longer believe in the economy. Uh, I'm sort of stepping away from that. Oh, yeah. Good on you. Yeah. Congrats. I'm done with it. I'm out. No more. No more. <laughs> no more economy for me. I just kind of roam the streets and border. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, border. I border. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, what was that? Oh, that Lady Bird movie. That's a fucking the character that, that did that. Anyway. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How are you guys? How are the vibes? Swag a vibe check? Uh, vibing. Vibing very well. I mean, that kind of means nothing. I mean, I want something Mason? specific. I'm vibing quite nicely. Oh, we can't just all go around in a circle <laughs> and say we're vibing. I want to know, like, what your vibes are. Um, yeah. I mean, we just went to Tassie, didn't we? Well, we, we went was, a while ago. That was a while ago. Well, we already yeah. made a podcast yeah. about that. Yeah, it was oh, in March. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, <laughs> the video is out. Scattered, man. The video is out. The video the is out. Oh, the video is out. Shit, yeah, yeah. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. yeah the video is allegedly out. Yeah, it's allegedly out. Yeah. No, by the time this drops, the Tasmania vlog, the epic uh, cinematic experience will be out on YouTube. We hope yeah. you guys have been enjoying it. And go watch it like 20 times. Please. Yeah. 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 Video. Super helpful. We are sorry that it took so long, but also we're not sorry because it's, it's a banger video. It was also a really long video. Like, there was a lot of footage. It takes a while to edit that. You should see our editor's face. It is wrinkled. Uh, it is dehydrated. <laughs> he's currently, <laughs> he's looking he's currently squinting at us from behind the camera. Uh, Mitchell <laughs> has been having a rough time. But it's out, and we hope you enjoy it. Matt, what are your vibes? Um, 
It's a little cold out, but Melbourne weather's like that sometimes. I don't know what you mean, bro. I don't yeah. know what you mean by that. Toasty as fuck with my yeah. nice beer in this tavern. I'm personally very I warm. We can turn the aircon down if you want. Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, it's it kind of it? chilly in here. Yeah. Toby, vibes? Uh, um, so, uh, if I was <laughs> like a, a, a New York businessman, my vibes would be probably with like white powder up my nose after just Ooh. having fucking a prostitute oh. and making a lot of money on the stock market. Did you so, did you kill the prostitute though? No, I left her alive. Oh. Rookie mistake. No, no, she needs to like live with her mistakes. Oh, I like it. Like wow. long term trauma shit. Killing them's too easy. That reminds me of that movie American Sane Person. <laughs> <laughs> you seen that? That's me. Yeah, so that's Patrick Patrick Bateman. Yeah. Yep. It stars Patrick Swayze. Patrick <laughs> Swayze. He's very sane. He just uh, does stocks. Yeah. Yep. And he listens to records and doesn't kill people when he does it. I know. I mean, I can't move it. Uh, my vibes are actually really good. Thanks for asking. Doing good. Um, feeling good. Very happy to be here with my five friends. Um, four. Yeah, there's four of us. What do you Unless mean? We're friends with yourself. <laughs> what do you mean? Jay's right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, you're on, bro. He's just, he's just off camera. He's oh, off yeah. camera. Yeah, he's, he's off he's camera. Just right now. He's yeah. got a mouthful of croissant. We don't want to. <laughs> We don't want to interrupt him. <laughs> oh, really, Jay? <laughs> no, sadly, Jay couldn't make it to this little podcast. I'm sorry to all the McCramey stands, but I'm sure he'll be around in future. For now, it's just us five. What do you rate of that? Well, he was the glue that held us together. I know, we're practically falling apart at the <laughs> seams. What are we going to do without Jay chiming in with a, Oi, that's funny as, or uh, that's, fu- that's fucked. <laughs> that's fucked. That's fucked. mean. No, we'll see him Ooh. next time. Hopefully. He's splashing. Yeah, I'm just giving twirl, mate. He's just giving a twirl. He's so just aerating his beverage. Yeah, you get a sniff. It's what people of class and character what, do, man. which is exactly notes what Mason alcohol. is. Notes of alcohol. It's quite a different lager. Yeah. I haven't had a lager like this. What is it? What brand of beer you reckon it is? See how it good you like are. Tastes like Heineken. Heineken? Is this Heineken? I doubt it. Uh, I'm incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't know, matter. Beer All that Sorry. matters is that you've got a beer in your hand. Yeah. All tastes the same. I Let's think it's stomping ground lager. Stomping ground lager? Oh, oh, great. Now we're promoting an alcohol brand. <laughs> ah, <laughs> That's shit. just perfect. Um, yeah, look, guys, the fans, the fans at home, they might be a little upset with us. Why? Why? Well, I don't know. I feel like they're like, why? Like, where, like, where is anything? <laughs> yeah, where, where have you been for a year? Basically? But hopefully now that the video is out, they're like, oh, okay, we're happy a again. A thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, the good news is that we've been filming quite a lot. And yes, uh, we have. there's actually been quite a lot of good group momentum lately. We're yeah. all feeling quite excited. We've just had a very good weekend. All it took was moving me to a different state so that I wasn't there, you know, bringing the mood down. Just had to get now, Toby out <laughs> the way. Now everyone's on board with shit. Yeah, it's actually so convenient. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've just had an awesome weekend. Toby's been here for the last few days and we've been doing a shoot um, at a dessert bar of all places. Oh, that's fantastic. We really? have it quite. A, we did a shoot that was actually a little bit out of everyone's comfort zone, um, I do believe. Swagger, take it away. Uh, do you want me to explain the concept of the video? I just want you to take it away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now he's now that he's gone. He took it away. Um. Guys, we uh, we basically <laughs> shot a prank a prank style video. Our first prank. Ah! <laughs> Pranked you. <ya. laughs> yeah, it was a bit funnier than that. Uh, <laughs> we had, we, okay, how do we explain this shoot? Because it was it was a little bit technical, but it was also right. quite simple in the end. So uh, we pretended to work at a restaurant, and we all had uh, mics on and earpieces on. And outside of the restaurant was a big van uh, with a control panel with like four cameras you could operate remotely that were hidden in the restaurant. Yeah, it felt properly like punked or impractical jokers, jokers, jokers or something like that. TMZ. That's just like it's a like celebrity. On people. <laughs> oh. You know, well, isn't what is TMZ in your head? Or oh, MTV? <laughs> it's, it's what, what is like four hundred of them? What is what is MTV in it your is head? Like music MTV television. Crims. <laughs> what is that in your head? <laughs> like that was a mad crib filming hectic shit. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah but like I don't know how you got there from here. Like, oh, where, why are you thinking of MTV Cribs? I was just giving the example of what it was similar to. Can we do an MTV Cribs at your house? Yeah, fuck yeah. But here's my not beer. Much to look at, here's my beers. Here's my beers. Here's my ashtray. Here's this my ashtray. This is like overfilling every day. <laughs> These are my worms that I'm raising. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just in your sink, eating your moldy dishes. Yeah. Mason's been raising worms, guys. He's yeah. really passionate about it, actually. How are they? Uh, they're pretty good. They're just eating away. Yeah, Wait, just, so still, just still eating shit. Do you actually have worms, though? 
Um, I'm not sure. Wait, like in your body? I'm not. I'm not <laughs> sure. I like. I had a brief moment. I, I, I told him. I told him the other night because he says, "I reckon I have worms." And I was like, "Well, are you hungry all the time?" He's like, "Yeah." I go, "Is your asshole itchy?" He's like, "Yeah." No, that's, I said you that's haven't taken. Said you haven't taken your uh, your yearly deworming tablet. Yeah, this is a thing that's uh, been coming up recently with Swagger Souls. Everyone was quite astonished to find that he takes deworming tablets regularly. Not re- regularly. It's like a little dessert. Regularly <laughs> is like once once every other year. Are maybe they for once dogs? Yeah, I you said <laughs> no, you can get them for people too. Yeah, but like most people don't need them. Most people do need them. They just don't know that they need them. Right, it's because you're spending all those, that time with children, eh? No, <laughs> it's because I'm eating all that raw meat. <laughs> what raw meat are you eating? Liver King style. Yeah. Do you know Liver King? Yeah, he just eats raw meat. Get your fucking testicles and... Yeah, he just, he just eats raw meat. What? Get your testicles you know, and what? Like you know, really do you not know who Liver guy? King is? Yeah. No. He's this fucking giant, like, bodybuilder guy, and he, and he follows a primal diet. <laughs> and, they, like, <laughs> the, the, the only one video I saw of him was, like, this giant meal that was cooked by a chef. And there was just like fucking beef testicles, a bunch of liver, some kidneys. Man's got right. the healthiest. I thought he ate raw. Man's just eating awful. It does eat raw. Like raw meat. Maybe? Yes. Yeah. And he's raw just, testes. He's just mm. he's huge, but he's definitely on on the uh, you know, the roids. Right. Reckon. He's roided out. He's yeah. not successful as a bodybuilder no, because no. of the raw meat. No, no. It's just because he's on roids. Yeah. Yeah. He has to eat all that raw meat to feed his worm overlord. <laughs> his massive tapeworm. <laughs> yeah, the tapeworm is it's giving him all the definition. Do you reckon you actually have a worm inside you? I don't know. What well, are you gonna name him? Um Jim. Jim? Yeah, Jim the worm? Jim the worm. I thought you unironically had pet worms, because you said in the group chat the other day, uh, hang on, I'll be there soon, I just need to feed my worms. <laughs> yeah, he just meant he was eating breakfast. That's all yeah. yeah. I mean, if you think about it, a pet like what could be closer to you as a pet? If, like, you yourself are the habitat for the pet, like, if you're the cage. It's true. Yeah. I mean, when you think about it, you're just the habitat for a bunch of little meepers. You're meepus. always, well, you're always good, walking your worm. Jim has a good life, bro. Like, <laughs> always walking your worm? He's what? always walking his worm. Yeah, I've walking, never seen him walking a worm. He, he, a, he walks he around. like a free Uber ride, essentially, constantly. But. <laughs> you know how unhealthy that fucking worm would be if there was a little worm in your tummy? It would be drunk all the time and it would Mackers. be coughing. <laughs> Mac yeah, is true. fucking ciggies. <laughs> Mac is ciggies COVID twice. Well, he's still there, bro, so yeah, it must be all right. What doesn't kill him makes him stronger, which is a problem for you. You're going to have to have a hot nurse. Just rip it out of your asshole. Yeah. I might need some of that worming chocolate. Yeah? Probably a block of it. Well, everyone's <laughs> fucking, fucking making fun of me for eating it, so no. <laughs> oh, okay. No one's making fun of you. We're, it's, we're all just insecure because I haven't had a deworming tablet in years, and now I'm concerned. Yeah. I have one, like, every year. Yeah, if you're you're, you do as well? Yeah, but... If you're how like, do you, of all people, take a deworming tablet? Because... <laughs> You, like I, you, I don't even think you brush your teeth. If you're listening to this podcast <laughs> and you find yourself hungry frequently, if your asshole is itching right now, there's a very solid chance that you have a little worm just hanging out in your gut, eating your food. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing to be ashamed about. You can name it, make it a little friend. Is it actually bad? Wait, so is this a PSA? It's or are horrible. You, or are you <laughs> <laughs> Having worms is awful. Guys, we've segued. We've segued. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so we're at this. Back, to the, back to the MTV Cribs. <laughs> so we were at this dessert bar. <laughs> <laughs> we spent Friday and Saturday either in the back of a van or behind the counter uh, pretending to be the wait staff at this local restaurant. Basically, we just worked a job, but for free. <laughs> we just worked a job. And filmed it. We had hidden cameras. We had four different hidden cameras, as well as some other cameras outside. And uh, yeah, like the uh, the concept was, there were two people at a time inside the restaurant, either behind the counter or serving customers, and then a bunch of cunts in the van uh, with microphones, feeding them shit to say, feeding them like ideas for how to kind of like prank the customers or make the situation uncomfortable. And man, it was. Honestly, I was uncomfortable. Pretty, it was uncomfortable. Like, I was definitely pretty nervous before the shoot because we've never done anything like I that. I munted before the shoot. Yeah, did you? Yeah, yeah. I full munted. Got all over my. Dude, those poor worms. Oh, no. They had no breakfast. They didn't like the hash browns. He was just nervous about working a normal job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I second day on the job, it wasn't too bad. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think we really got the swing of things yeah, in, this, in, the in the second, second day. day. But the first day was still really funny. Oh my god, they were just like there were a couple iffy and funny moments. <laughs> yeah. Well, like. I don't know. We could probably we always spoil our videos in the podcast, so we might as well talk about. Just a few, give them a couple bits. of bits. I mean, this is one of those videos where I feel like there's a lot that's not going to get included. I feel like yeah. we film for 12 hours and there's only going to be 20 minutes on YouTube. So that's true. So that's you feel like. On the microphone. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Well, like hello. <laughs> one of the first bits. <laughs> I think I went in first. One of the first bits I remember doing was. Uh, Getting the wider. Yeah. A customer came in. They sat down, and I was 
uh, instructed to give them water in a bowl. Uh, in a just bowl like fill with, a big bowl up with water. <laughs> with, and, and give them two ta- uh, teaspoons and two uh, glass uh, cups. Yeah. So this table of three sat down and I walk over with this bowl f- bowl to the brim. <laughs> and then I'm like, hang on a second, guys. I'll be right back with your spoons. I go to the kitchen and get so them some confused. spoons. And when I come back with the spoons, I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, like, what is this? And I was like, oh, yeah, but it's not really doing bottles because of uh, COVID regulations. So it's not really doing lips on glass right now. And they were like, oh, no worries. Like, I like completely <laughs> accepted yeah, that dude. it was. And, they, and this lady was sitting there for like five <laughs> minutes, spoonful by spoonful, <laughs> filling up her glass cup from the bowl of water. NPCs just accept anything. Yeah, I, dude, if you just go up to any NPC and like at a restaurant and just fuck with them and just say, sorry, it's a COVID regulation, they'll all, they'll all go, it, yeah. okay. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, okay. I mean, no one wants to be a problem, right? And nobody wants to be a problem. And, like, water is not that important. <laughs> it's a human life. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, what else happened? Like, there were uh, lots of bits where... You put the fucking potted plant, the, the, the massive potted plant. Oh, yeah, started, like, moving plants around and putting them right in front of the customer. There's this <laughs> huge monstera that was on the bench. And they made me pick it up and put it right in the middle of the table. That a table. A table of four. They had no room. They basically took up the whole table. They had leaves in their faces. Then they made me put another plant in front of them. And, and then, then and then the owner, the actual owner of the restaurant, came by, took the plants off the table, apologized on behalf of Fitz, and then five minutes later, we made Fitz put it back on <laughs> and say, hey, I'm sorry about that, guys, no. Yeah, honestly, the owner, uh, actually, it was really the owner's well, we t- how much can we talk about here? <laughs> we can go nuts. Ryan's going to go ahead. The owner's wife was uh, very uh, stressed, stressed out. out. Stressed out, which is rightfully so. You know, it's your dessert bar. It's your pride and joy. She's in the back making these beautiful desserts the whole time. It's a really nice establishment, you know, and we're just here fucking with the whole Should flow. Should we say where it is? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, we obviously need to give a big shout out to quite a few people. Yeah, uh, shout out on the mic. Shout out Twisted Dessert Bar Fitzroy. That's where we shot it. If you're um, in Melbourne, go check it out. It's delicious. We also need to be, uh, give a big shout out to Videocraft for yeah. all the rental gear and Ed from Moose Audio, who's our audio guy. Ed, he's doing the audio yeah, here. Right, cool. Yeah, he's actually sat right next to us right now. And yeah, shout out. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, honestly, we could not have done the shoot without them. It was really technical with all the gear and shit, and everything went off without a hitch. It's fucking hilarious. But yeah, the owner's wife was uh, quite upset. Yes, <laughs> we she, she was making a lot of jokes as the day went on about cutting our balls off. I don't think they were cutting jokes. Our fingers. No, yeah. cutting our fingers off. I think she was fingers fingers off. No, no, they said, So there is a little bell that you could ring for the like outside. It's and like, we the, were, like a classic like counter a classic, bell. Classic, yeah, like bellboy, ding ding. And uh, we were actually filming with uh, Danny and Michael Racka. Oh yeah, they were they were there for uh, part of the shoot. Um, and they were twins, by the way. Yeah, so Danny goes up and just starts ringing the bell as a bit, <laughs> like, unprompted. And then, uh, should we say her name? Did we say her name? Uh, yeah. Owner's wife came came out and pointed at him and said, <laughs> like, if you keep doing that, I'm going to chop off your fucking fingers. <laughs> and then Danny just laughed. And then she gave him this huge glare and said, I'm fucking serious. And oh, yeah. <laughs> and he was like, okay. And then you guys were going to go into the bank of the kitchen, and she threatened to... Cut off our testicles. Testicles. <laughs> Which sounded like a great deal. Yeah, Toby was honestly like, oh, that's a great deal. I can ring that bell. I'm on board with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, shout out to them as well for putting up with us, because you can imagine we caused quite a disruption. We, we upset a customer so badly on Friday that they came back on Saturday and caused this huge stink. They wanted a full refund. They wanted $100, and... They were just trying to milk it. Yeah, true. They I don't know if we can uh, tell this part, but... <laughs> no, fuck it, dude. Well, yeah, well, they were being such like, a cow. Like, we were... <laughs> no, no. Oh, are you talking about Sippy? No, no. Uh, Sippy's no, different. No, no. Sippy, Sippy you got to find out about. Like, you got to see that. Um, oh, I can talk about that. We can talk about Sippy. I was going to talk about, talk about the other thing that you mistakenly did. What is Wait. that? The, the the lady with the beanie. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that was me. That was really Oh they, my they, god. Yeah, they, that was yes. unlucky. Dude, that, that was, was hilarious. So there was this there was this uh, table of three that sat down. Fitz is in there wearing a hat. Sitting across from them is another table and the guy's wearing a hat. So we the thought girl, it would be No, there was a guy wearing a hat oh, okay, sat yeah, across. Yeah, yeah. So there's two, there's like three people wearing hats and w- one of them was one of the girls wearing a pink beanie. 
And so we told Fitz, hey, go up to the to the girl, single her out, and say, hey, we don't we don't allow uh, like headwear in this establishment. If it's rude, if you could take it off. And the joke was that he was wearing a hat, and then there was another guy wearing a hat. <laughs> so he goes up and talks to this lady, hey, I need you to take off your beanie. It's very rude. It's disrespectful. <laughs> and she turns around and she's wearing a hijab underneath the beanie. And she's like, I'm not taking it off. She's like, yeah, I, this is actually for re- <laughs> religious reasons. There's no way I'm taking. She, she like gave me a death. <laughs> Dude, I we can't were believe. watching it like what the we were like oh, sitting there. Yeah, like, right. hands Fitz, on the Fitz went fucking red. Yeah. Oh, no, you committed to it too. You're like, are you sure? I mean, yeah, it's I was kind like, of sorry. Health. I can seriously just have policy. I don't know what to tell you. And eventually, I just had to be. Oh yeah. I mean, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> very like but awkward uh, in, this, every in the t- moment. Every time you fuck with the customer, you just go back to the counter where like you're kind of hidden from them and go, fuck you guys. <laughs> fuck yeah. you guys for making me do this. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it yeah. sucked. Oh my God. Like there was another moment at that same <laughs> table where um, there was a group of four sitting there and you guys maybe go over there. Or, or I think it was maybe Mason went over at first to say, um, sorry guys, it's actually a maximum of three people per table. Uh, it was Danny, I think. D- Danny, maybe. Yeah, that was yeah. Danny. I it was Danny. Like, if, you, if you could just please move. And they were like, is this some kind of joke? I did tell like a group of four to put their phones away. Yeah, you did. <laughs> and they, <laughs> like, they, left, they left immediately. You said, yeah, in July, my mom won't let me use my phone at the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, fucking uh, blackout. They left immediately. Did yeah, they actually? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't even notice. I was too busy, I was too busy behind the counter like, fuck, I can't believe we did that. But, but yeah, they made uh, Danny tell them that there's only th- a max of three per table, which they refused after some Yeah, and if they, wanted, if they wanted to sit, they needed to be 1.5 meters apart, yeah. and they, they needed to wear masks. Yeah. I think this was the same table that I fucked with No, the no, this well. was the Turkish guy. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. And then um, they made me go over there after that, like 30 <laughs> minutes later, and just pull out the chair next to them. And just gesture at it and stare at them for as long as I could. Oh. I was just standing there, just like gesturing at this empty chair, like, "Could you please move? Like, we already asked you to move." And then they kind of like looked at me, <laughs> glared at me a few times. Eventually, I just was like, "All right, fine, fine, be that way. That's fine." And uh, there were lots of moments where you just had to walk away from a table and be like, "The fucking nerve of these people, man." Honestly, should I, should I talk about Not- Sippy? Yeah. <laughs> so Sippy. I'm I'm sitting there. I have to. Uh, I'm behind the counter. I've been drawing, like, stupid fucking uh, pictures on the notepad just because of how slow it was during the during the evening. And I had the pen in my hand, and Danny tells me to draw, a, like, a face on my hand. And so I do that, and he goes, yeah, next customer that comes in, you got to take the order with your hand. And I was like, okay. So this lady comes in, and she's like, hey, yeah, I want to, like, blah, blah, blah. And I go, it, hold on. Is it okay if I get the new guy to do this? We have a new employee, and we're just training him, and... And she's like, yeah, sure, that's fine. I go, yeah, I'll get him. <laughs> and I duck under the counter, and, and I go, what can I get you today? And, and, and this, this stupid fucking voice, she's like, I want a raspberry slice. And for anyone that's yeah, he's, he's holding up his fucking hand. hand. Yeah, so I'm Talking holding up my it. hands above my head and, like, doing a little puppet thing. It's got an eye and two lips on it. And I'm just like, hello, okay, raspberry slice, uh, chai latte. And, and she's, this lady is just giving me, like, this really weird look for some reason. And then I take her order. She goes back to her table. I wait like five minutes. Danny tells me to go over and ask her how her meal's doing, but as the new employee. So I have to go over there, duck under the table, and then go, okay, so how's your order today? <laughs> and, and just have a conversation with her through my fucking hand. And she was just like, yeah, it's fine. It's, it's okay. She was just playing ball. And she's like, like she I'm was... just enjoying my tea. And I'm like, all right, cool. And then I go back. Um, and then I sit there for like another five minutes. And then Danny... Like, th- there's like her in the store, and then me, pretty much. And so, there's nobody else in the store. And Danny tells me to go up to her. She's drinking her tea, fucking completely normally. And he goes, "Yeah, I need you to go up to her and tell her that she's uh, sipping on her tea too loud, and that and that she needs to be like quieter because it's <laughs> annoying everyone in the store." And I was she's, like the only other person in yeah, the she's store. She's completely alone. <laughs> and so I go, I'm like, hey. Like, I'm so sorry, but you're sipping your tea really loud. It's distracting some of the customers. It's distracting some of the staff. I'm so sorry, but yeah, blah, blah, blah. Then, then I go back. She's pissed. And then I'm waiting another five minutes. They have me do the same fucking thing again. Hey, ma'am, you're still sipping too loudly. I need you to, you know, tone it down a little. Go back. And then ten minutes later, they tell me to sip a glass of water as loudly as I can <laughs> while maintaining eye contact with her. And then as soon as she made eye contact with me, I had to go... Remind you of someone? 
It was fucking. Uh, dude, she shot you, me. You, she, <laughs> if looks could kill, I would be six feet under, bro. Uh, it was fucking awful. She Did you keep saying happy. like, yeah, thanks, Sippy and stuff? Yeah, yeah and I had to call her Sippy. Literally referring to her as Sippy the entire yeah. time. Yeah, he like looked over like over the counter, like in the middle of the store while she's in the corner, just making eye contact, just sipping his tea really loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Before before anyone asks, we, we had to get permission from a lot of people after we shot because you're ruining somebody's evening, basically, uh, for content. And, and also, so, like, you know, they're not knowing that they're being filmed. Yeah, they don't know they're and being it's filmed. it's not a public space, necessarily. It's a private business, so, like, legally you have to do the waivers, and if they say no, I'm not going to sign your waiver, you have to trash the footage. Um, so, yeah, we, we had to get a waiver from a bunch of different people. Some people didn't want their face in there. And some people all, like, outright were just like, no. No fucking I'm way. I'm not going to sign Which, like, honestly waiver. is, like, probably what I would do. <laughs> yeah. Like, I would feel like, what do you mean? You just ruined my dessert experience? Why the fuck would I want to fucking sign your waiver? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I had to do an ad, like, three times because the first two times the people didn't want to sign yeah, the waiver. She, one, oh, yes. was so, one was, like, walking off while she, She's like, no, yeah. no, I'm not having this, no. So I was just completely... Here, pa- pass me your cup. I was just completely ignoring the customer staring at yeah, the camera. So it was like straight up, like, they would ask, like, it, it would be... They'd come in, they'd say, yeah, I'd like a latte or like a cappuccino or a coffee or whatever. And then the bit was in, I would have to tell them, like, oh, well, actually, we're offering an alternative to coffee if you're willing to hear me out. And regardless of whether they say yes or no, I basically go... Yeah, Gamersups is a keto-friendly, sugar-free, amazing, delectable drink that you can get for 10% off at Gamersups.gg. And basically do this whole ad read and then look into the camera and then like like point at the camera, completely ignoring the people at the counter. And then I held like like a pose for like two <laughs> minutes Literally looking two minutes. into the camera. And they're just sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? It was, it was really and funny because none of the people that, like, while you were staring at the camera, none of the people that you did it to, like, it looked were, were looking to looking see what you were doing. Right? Yeah. They just were just staring at you blankly like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, what the hell is going on? So the first two times I did that, they, they didn't sign the waiver. The first was, like, two uh, a couple, and they were like, no, no, I'm okay. And I just kept going. Uh, which, by the way... Uh, this podcast is sponsored by GamersUps.gg. Yeah, I mean, you kind of already did the I kind of already did the ad. <laughs> so, well, thank you, GamersUps. Very good flavors. You Ryan's got a couple fresh GamersUps right get. on if anyone Shout wants one. Oh, we got some fresh, As foamy GamersUps <laughs> coming <laughs> in here. I I also, Sox? shout out Chris for doing all the waivers. He uh, pressured a lot of yeah. people into signing them very oh, quickly. Oh, big shout out to Chris. We had a lot of people that, that oh. came oh. back after they signed a waiver and said, can I unsign the waiver? And we were like, no, lol. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so they actually were like, can we yeah. undo that? Yeah. like So like, Chris would just like, what, hunt them down? Oh, he would do such a good job. He'd be like, hey, man, we just pranked you in there a little bit. Do you want to sign this? You get a dollar. Like, they read the waiver and then we would send them on their way. And then, and then, like, <laughs> they would holler. Yeah. They would come back. Yeah, and then people would send an email being like, "Wait, what did I I signed. <laughs> like, well, you signed it, buddy. Like, <laughs> yeah, that is so something that you would do. Eh? You like sign, like, oh, I guess I'll sign this because you're just trying to be agreeable. And then you sit, you're at home at night thinking, like, what the fuck have I done? Yeah. Oh my God, Did I, I look so okay during that? Yeah, it's so stupid. But like, we we definitely had like quite a few good bits that we just aren't going to be able to use because. The people refused to sign the waiver. Yeah, what a bunch of a, what a, what a we, bunch of fucking yeah. assholes! I, I like was, right? There was one part where we left Matt from the van, like no one was on cams, and then Matt just had to plank on the table with no one like talking. <laughs> no, to yeah, him. no, we, we were on cams, we were talking. No, to but him. we all went in and grabbed him. Yeah, we all had to go. I was, holding, for like a I was yeah. holding a plank for like two minutes. So one, one of the bits, one of the bits was there was a there was a family of four, uh, two little kids. And we had Matt, like, go up onto the table in front of them and just hold the plank for, like, two <laughs> minutes. And then we told them to, like, grab a little flower that was on the on the table and, like, hand it to them. And then they just, like, grabbed it, looked at it, didn't know what to do. And then all of us from the, from the van went out into the restaurant, grabbed him by the feet and the arms, and carried him out in front of his family. <laughs> we did it so smoothly. As yeah, well. it was pretty smooth. I asked the guy if he can get the door. <laughs> and he was like, nah. <laughs> No, I could do that. <laughs> it was funny as hell. It was. The whole, the whole shoot would be like two days. There's a lot of bits that we're not going to mention because of how good they were. Or, or if you want, we could do the... I think yeah, we'll, the, Plus. The, what about we'll, we'll the, the one more. One? Unfortunately, I think I, none <laughs> of the bits are going to translate as well over storytelling than they will just in the video itself. So you, you will have to wait and see. 
but the birthday what, cake the birthday cake bit was pretty fucking funny so we'll, we'll we gotta we'll hit the bit before <laughs> we, <laughs> before yeah. we can even do yeah that. yeah yeah we'll, we'll finish talk like recapping bits after this but yeah so like i'm behind the counter i'm waiting for customers to come in it's kind of slow and all of a sudden a couple comes in that uh, we later <laughs> find out are on a date mm. and uh, as they come up to order Swagger calls yeah, me. I, I call Cam on his phone, and he changed my contact info to just boss. No, it's boss in, in brackets cunt, and your <laughs> and, and your profile picture was just an angry emoji. <laughs> <laughs> and I put you on speaker. I'm like, hang on, guy. Like they're in the middle of ordering. Like, hang on one second. I'm just uh, I right, my boss is calling. I don't know what this is about. Better check this. And so I call and I go, hey, you know, uh, how's the shift going? Is everything okay? He goes, like, yeah, yeah holding down the fort boss. Everything's okay. And I go, okay, well. You know, if, if by chance you happen to find two people coming into the restaurant, one is middle-aged, balding, square frame glasses, bra- <laughs> like graying hair, uh, wearing, and I just described both of them to like a T, like from what they were wearing. Like, they were so confused though, like they were kind of ordering while you were talking, so I don't even know how, how yeah, if whether or not they but were like, like uh, they were definitely picking up and like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, like, why is this guy we- talking to his boss and why is he describing what weirdly sounds like me? Yeah, and then Fitz had to say, I'm sorry guys, uh, like you guys like are being described by my boss. Yeah, so my boss is telling me that you guys came in here and that you're like not good people. He's like telling me that you guys are just like bad people. Like, I don't know. I, I'm new. I, I honestly don't know what to do in this situation. Like, I, I, I want to take your order, but my boss is they were telling like, me. They're like, this is our first time here. We've never been here before. Yeah. And, and then we had him say like, Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> well, that's my lie detector. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> that's my lie detector. And they were like, we're not lying. The lady was like, I'm just ribbing you. We're not lying. It's my first like time ever being here. It's my birthday yesterday. We're just trying to have a nice treat. And then I was like, oh, are you sure? Are you sure you're not, you're not lying to me? You're not fucking lying to me? And they were like, no, no, we're not. Anyway, eventually I just have to take their orders uh, because you can only push it for so long. But the whole time I'm taking that order, I'm still like, "You're definitely not lying. We have we have a discount, a fifty percent discount for liars." Yeah, yeah. (laughs) You guys sure you're not you're not lying? (laughs) And they were just like, "No, we're 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 not lying. We we don't know what to tell you, man." And I was like, "All right, kind of sounds like you're lying." And I put through that order. They take a seat. They're there for like thirty minutes, and then we have (laughs) everybody that was on scene. Everybody is wearing like a costume, so we're all wearing white shirts with aprons. Um, and then, so eight of us come in. We had this prepared, like, giant ice cream cake that we put three candles on. Massive. And then we all came into the restaurant. They were, like, the only two people left. And we all sang happy birthday, except nobody knew her name. <laughs> so whenever so as soon as it got to I them, do. I was like, <laughs> happy birthday to you. And then we put it down. This fucking, ma- it was, like, ridiculously oversized. It was as big as the cake. table, pretty much. And it, like, took up, like, all of their room. They had to move everything out of the way. We put it down. <laughs> and then we're like, hey, you know, happy birthday. Like, you know, we're sorry about the confusion earlier. We hope you're having a good day. And then Fitz goes, yeah, so it is your birthday, right? It is your birthday today? And then the lady goes, it's like yesterday. No, it was yesterday. And I go, yesterday? And then I pick up the cake, and Michael Rankin fucking blows out the candles. And I turn around and walk away with it. the candles yeah, out. Yeah, walked, walked away with it. Like, oh, I, like, just yeah, and, then, and then everyone, it was like, sorry, it's like steward policy, actually. It has to be your birthday. And they were like so pissed. And then ten minutes later, we walked uh, back. No, in. it was like immediately after. Was it like, it all right, after? Mitchell's in our ear, like, all right, now bring the cake back again, sing happy birthday <laughs> again. And yeah, we just felt bad. We just felt bad. Yeah, so we go oh, in, yeah. we do the whole thing again, we put it down again. Candles are lit. We go, yeah, sorry about it. We felt bad, but it's a company policy. We have to sing happy birthday whenever we bring out a cake. And they were so pissed. Yeah, so th- that really <laughs> did it for them. They after told that, the, they were they done. Told like, the they waiter, just... they were, the owner, they, they're like, this is our first time here, and we're never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> like, just, and dude. And as, as we were walking away the second time as well, after they, like, denied the cake a second time, I remember saying, like. You said it again. You doubled I, down, didn't I, you? I, No, I was like, all right, have fun being old. <laughs> something like that <laughs> and I didn't turn around to see their reaction but I know they fucking heard that shit yeah. so they actually refused to sign the waiver originally so yeah. I went up to them in the store right after the bit because I was like alright look we've, we've fucked up their night enough let's go to them now while they're in the store we'll, we'll sit down and do the whole waiver thing and I went up to her and I was I was like oh hey look obviously you're on sort of a, a video or a YouTube channel blah 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 yeah. before I could even say anything she just looks at me and shakes her head and goes I'm not signing your waiver yeah. and I was like oh my god no what do I do we were all devastated because like, yeah. it was the best bit it was, it was so like, fucking funny the bit to end all 
old bitch. <laughs> then they continued sitting in the salt for like another 45 minutes. So I was just waiting for them to leave. Yeah, like giving them time to cool off. Yeah, so they cooled off and then she came out the front and I was like, oh, hey, look, I- I'm sorry. We didn't want to ruin, you know, your birthday night or anything like that, blah, blah, blah. Um, we were just trying to make a funny video. And she's like, yeah, look, I get it. But obviously it was my birthday, blah, 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 blah. Um, and anyway, then I was like, look, is there anything we can do to get it signed? She's like, yeah. Um, she was like, I want a thousand dollars. And I was like, look, I was, <laughs> like, look I, I was like, look, I got 500 cash on me. I'll give you that. And then, um, do you have dinner plans tonight? They're like, no, we were just bar hopping. I was like, okay, I'll book you into a restaurant. We'll pay for it. It's covered by us. Yeah. Will you sign the waiver? And she was like to her partner, Hey, do you want to do this? And they're like, he was like, look, it's up to you. And she was, I'm going to And then she's like, okay, look, I'll do it. And then, um, I actually text her and I said, uh, so I, I got the reservation, sent her the details. I said, hey, hope your night went well, and we managed to recover it. How was Scopery, which is the name of the restaurant? She said, yes, everything ended well, and we had a good night. Hey. Scopery was great, and Bruce and his team made sure we were very well looked after. My birthday was redeemed. Thanks for organizing that for <laughs> wow. us. Wow. That was awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then she added, hope Same. all goes well with your project. Oh. Let's go. Let's so go. she was very a happy customer. Uh, yeah, now wow. happy she's still not customer. going back to that bar. No, she's, no <laughs> she, I don't think anyone, you know, no. Yeah, that was the other thing I said to her. I was like, hey, look, it, the dessert bar, this wasn't their fault. This was all us. Like, <laughs> yeah. please make sure you give them another go because the food's great. And she was like, yeah, I will. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah. It was good food. Yeah. That I was good. Eat, I got to eat a little bit in between. Oh, it was amazing. It's a really yeah. nice place. April I would like out. knock over his scone on accident and, and go to the owner like, I'm sorry I knocked this over. Like, I'll pay for it. And they'd be like, no, no, no just have it. I'd be like, okay, I did that like one more time. Uh, and, oops. And not to, oops. Not to try it, sell too hard. Sorry, sorry. Not to try it, sell it too hard. It's also so fucking cheap. It is yeah. really cheap for dessert. Twisted yeah. Dessert Bar in Fitzroy. Legends. Legends. How did you guys and feel? And they serve drinks as well? And drinks. It they do serve drinks. Yeah. Of age, of course. How did you guys feel doing this shoot? Because it was so different to anything that we've ever done before. I like, felt pretty in my element. I mean, I fuck with people for a living. Yeah. So yeah, like, Swagger was just like, I've got a mask on. I'm basically playing VR. Pretty much. Because <laughs> I, I had, because you know, I had to. I had Meanwhile, to, like, everyone else has their fucking face exposed. Everyone else has their face exposed. <laughs> they have to read the facial expression. I'm sitting there with a fucking like mask like this on and a beanie, and like if if anyone was ever going to be like, hey, what do you have a mask on to? I'd be like, it's COVID. You want to get COVID? <laughs> you know, like, and they'd be like, oh, okay. Well, at one point, we were trying to get. So I gotta say he was a burn victim. No, 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 I, no, 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 no. That that was the or, bit. Or a terrorist. That, the, the bit, the bit. I'm fucking checking this lady out. Not, not like with my eyes. Whoa. But like actually, you know. Whoa, whoa. So I'm, I'm, I'm checking them out, and they, and they go like just normal, like okay, and then Fitz goes, say, um, sorry about the mask. He used to be a terrorist. And I like listened to that, and I just shook my head. <laughs> like taking yeah, I, order. Order. I was just shaking my head, and then I just hear Fitz go, uh, uh, "Burn victim." And I was like, "Okay." And he go, oh yeah. And he was sorry about the mask. I used to be a burn victim. Oh yeah. I and you said and that. like, and she the was la- like, "Oh." And yeah, the the lady just looked at me, and she, and she raised one eyebrow and said, "Okay." <laughs> and I just it was just like, "Nice, bro. Nice." <laughs> so nice. rude of her. Like, come on. Like, where's your sympathy? Where's the sympathy? <laughs> should have actually victim? had makeup done up that made me look like a burn victim. Yeah. I think the job was hard for me though, because like I've never worked a proper job. Yeah, like and that. you can't go five minutes <laughs> so like, smoking a cigarette. A, dude, yeah, I kept having. Oh, yeah, dude. it wasn't the fucking oh. with people that uh, caused Mason problems. It was the making the coffees. It was the <laughs> wiping the bed. It was anything like that. Using like, the till. Any labor. But then I worked out like Mitchell said to just loop, just like pretend you're doing stuff constantly yeah and i just felt like it was a lot easier after i started doing that yeah, oh, yeah. i polished a ladle for like an hour and a half <laughs> dude <laughs> we're just sitting there and i, I um i was i got I started doing some dishes started wiping some tables they got a good deal out of you they got free labor for a day dude, exactly yeah. but like i don't know at, 20% the, expe- at labor. the expense of the reputation yeah, oh, some people were very unhappy. We have, have, I'm going to check the reviews right now just to see if any of them came up. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Last time I checked, nothing Dude. was there, but I'm, I'm sure that there's at least one. But, yeah, I mean, Matt, how would you feel? How would you feel on set? How would you feel And, like, how did you feel before, before? I'm curious if, like, were, were any of you guys um, pretty anxious before actually shooting? Yeah, a little bit, but then, like, five minutes there, I'm like, oh, it's just, like, my old job working at Starbucks, you know? Yeah, Same you shit, except I get to get coffee. paid to fuck with customers. Yeah, I was the most nervous the night before, and then the day of and the day after, I was like, ah, yeah, it's, honestly, this is fine. Like, it's uncomfortable, but it's just like, I don't know, like, you're never going to see these people again. That's what I realized second day. You just yeah, have, like, an yeah. endless stream of NPCs just coming through. Of NPCs. I was like, as soon as, <laughs> like, the easiest way to rationalize it is, like, these people spawn, they come in, <laughs> you fuck with them. And then they leave and they despawn into the portal. ether. You never fucking see them again. Yeah. So like, 
I you mean, know, that's kind of sociopathic, but for sure. I mean, it's like the easiest way not to be nervous is just to pretend that they're not real. Right. I, I found um, beforehand I wasn't nervous leading up to it. <laughs> but, but when you were doing but it. But then I sat down in the van and saw what Swagger was making people do, and then I got nervous. Yeah, <laughs> I was a bit I was of like, an oh, asshole the first yeah, okay, day. this is like... Because I, I, like, I've always been like this. Like, when, we, when we've had the Misfits houses and stuff... I've always been like super self-conscious, like worried about the the neighbors and stuff, like worried about being loud, worried about annoying people. So I, I hate annoying people, and I, and I, like I hate making people uncomfortable, especially like when they're just like out having a nice time. So like for me, I found it super fucking. We hard. got a fucking empath over here. Yeah, it's, it's like you're a good person, and Swagger's not basically. It's basically <laughs> what you're describing. I'm yeah. okay with it. I'm I, fine with it. it I was, was somewhere in the middle. I would say it was like. For me, obviously, it was different. I'm wearing a mask, and I have to worry about, like, my, like, basically, my yeah. biggest concern wasn't, like, oh, my God, I'm so nervous. I can't believe I have to do this. I have to work up the courage to do this. It was, like, I had to stop myself from, like, laughing and then, like, compose myself and do the bit. Because, like, if I didn't have the mask on, I just had the biggest shit-eating grin the entire time. And yeah. they couldn't see that, which is yeah, why you had, like, it. a buff. They just looked like I was smiling you with my a... eyes. But I was really just like, oh, I can't wait to fucking say this to you. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the fuck you can do. I don't even know what I would do if someone in a mosque like yours was serving me. I'd be like, this is so weird. Like, what is happening right now? Well, it's, yeah, it's not even that cold. <laughs> It was kind of chilly. <laughs> there was a moment where Matt was uh, instructed to stand like, right next to a table, like right, like basically like, his like cock was him, his him. cock was like basically on the table, standing right next to them and just stare straight ahead. And then we also had uh, Jackson uh, Doherty. Is that his uh, last I name? I forget his last name. Doherty. Doherty. Jackson, Doherty. Doherty. Jackson O. Doherty. TikTok sorry. star, OnlyFans sensation, comes standing on the other side of the table and just stare at Matt. So there's these two <laughs> poor girls just trying to enjoy some dessert, and on either side they have these looming men just like, like making eye contact and with, make, with each other, like ignoring them completely. And then they uh, were for like, like three, four minutes. Yeah, we yeah. had them there for a while. <laughs> yeah, and they were kind of just like, I guess this is happening. We're just going to keep eating our dessert. Just going to pretend like this isn't going on. And then I, I instructed Jackson and and, and Matt to do a uh, like a game uh, where they would go <laughs> <laughs> like even louder like they were basically one person playing would make a penis. Fart, yeah, they were playing yeah. penis but with <laughs> fart noises so it would be <laughs> and then Matt would go <laughs> and then Jax would go <laughs> and it was just back and back and back and forth for like maybe a minute two I, minutes Matt was definitely struggling to hold in the laughter dude dude one. Matt Jackson, no, Jackson, Jackson was no like, I was watching you bro you were nah, definitely clo you were no. close you were no. close you were close <laughs> you were cracking he was giving him for, nah. were, yeah, I think you were cracking a smirk only yeah, because Jackson was, was like, like could barely nah, I didn't keep break his composure face once. Yeah. it was so smirky Matt you yeah. don't even know it <laughs> <laughs> hey man, watch the video but back right, like, but <laughs> like, like right at the end we had Matt go I can't compete with that. You win, and then just walked off. <laughs> and then, and then Jackson, completely unprompted, looks down at these two women. Jackson's this fucking giant, ripped guy, and he stands over them. He goes, "I guess you guys are my customers now." <laughs> <laughs> like that, and just walked away. And just fucking walked away. And they were so confused. I was there for that. Can't see that in post. I That's cannot funny. wait to see all the footage back. <laughs> it just translates so much better when you can see what's going on. The cameras were incredible. We were like zooming in on people's faces and shit. Yeah, I made a guy duck under the counter and house an entire meal. <laughs> yeah. uh, because they, they were trying to get people into the restaurant uh, just so that we could film. And so Danny and Michael were outside doing this twin bit. And they were like saying, yeah, first meal on the house completely for free. <laughs> so these people were coming in expecting a free meal. And they'd come over the counter and be like, yeah, by the way, is this free? Like, no. No. Who told you that? <laughs> that guy does not work here. That guy doesn't work here. <laughs> And, and this one guy was like, well, I have any money. And like, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so me and Matt were like looking at each other like, oh, I don't know. Should we like, you know, the boss isn't going to be happy. He's like fucking uh, looking back, yeah. checking if the boss is there. And so Matt's like, yeah, yeah just just go. Just, just take it, take it, take it. He gives it to him. And then uh, he's like going to eat it. And we're like, but the boss might come out. So duck, duck, duck under the counter. Just house it. Eat it as quick as you can. How's it? How's it? And this <laughs> dude's just going. <laughs> <laughs> like right underneath the counter. So and then I gave him an awkward handshake. Like, that same guy, Danny, also like pretty much stole his bike. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah. right. Danny we had like a camera pointed out the front, didn't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so many good bits. So the good news is that this video will not take as long to edit because it was just a two-day shoot. All the footage is pretty tight. I mean, there's a fair bit to go over, but it's definitely not going to be as much of a fucking two-hour mega video as the Tasmania vlog, for sure. More uh, than one upload in a year? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Holy 
Holy shit. Almost like the misfits are back, baby. <laughs> misfits like, are saying back. that very tentatively <laughs> as we don't want to make more false promises and then rage our fans. Guys, <laughs> from now on, daily podcasts, <laughs> no. weekly videos. Uh, this is the part we say this year's gonna be fucking this, lit. This year's <laughs> gonna be fucking lit. Oh my god, why would you even say that? Dude, After the last two times it. you've said that, everything's gone to shit. <laughs> this year's gonna be fucking shit. Uh, Expect no content from us <sighs> at all. Is it better? Yeah, uh, far none, of, none of us really. Is that like none more really. like. None of us really what we want. Is that more comforting? No, we knowing just, that I'm wrong? Just, wait, honestly, the Misfit slogan should be just take what you can get, man. And <laughs> take what you can get. Yeah, you know, just everybody. Fucking. Hopefully it's good enough. Yep. <laughs> I actually prefer the term quality over quantity. Yeah, that was, that's <laughs> that was always my excuse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that's applying these days. But yeah, no, it's good. It feels good to be shooting shit, you know? It does. Yeah. It's we're having, we're having some fun out here. We're having fun. It's good to have Toby back in town. Yeah. We miss yeah. you since you moved. Yeah, I've, I've, I've moved away, but I'm still part of the Misfits, you know? Yeah, it was Perth. A, b- a bunch of people thought when I moved to Perth, it was like. Oh well, Toby's gone. Yeah, 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 but I'm fucking here. Okay? How's Queensland, Jay? Yep. yep. Oh, he still has a mouthful of croissant. <laughs> oh, dude, he's, he's been in that croissant for a while, bro. He's been just stuffing croissants <laughs> down the whole it's time. Good. He loves his French pastries. Yeah, he said it's good. Mm-hmm. I hope you're into it. All Fortnite YouTubers love croissants. Whoa, Jay, dude, he's fucking bending over and goatsy. <laughs> <laughs> He's spreading his asshole with two fingers. Dude, I don't want to see that. That's why McCreamy is the goat, bro. Forever. Forever and always. You can't say these things about Jay, man. He's going to sue us. Oh, shit. He's going to be like, guys, I that jo- goatsy joke was too far. <laughs> He's going to sue us. He's going to be like, guys, I don't eat croissants. <laughs> <laughs> you know how I feel about gluten. <laughs> no, 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 no. So yeah. how, how is Perth, Toby? You know, it's, it's Perth. Isn't Perth like a desert? Yeah, it's just like a big wildlife sanctuary. No, like desert. Like, isn't it just fucking? It's just like the Sahara Desert. It's just mines. (laughs) There's just lots of mines. Just Just mines, mines. land mines. Everyone's covered in soot. uh, (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I actually thought you meant land mines. No, like iron mines and shit. Oh shit! You know, this is a bunch of fuckers playing Minecraft and trucks. (laughs) Oh, sounds fun. Yeah. (laughs) Get some opals and whatnot. Dedicated William. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but I'm going to have a kid, so that's kind of whack. You are having a kid. You are. Oh, yeah. yeah, this is like public knowledge. Yeah, this is like a, the misfits are actually real people with real lives. Yeah. You know? That's so weird. Kind of explains yeah. the frequency issues. Yeah. With the uploads. Yeah, exactly. A child. Yeah, a whole last child. How does that make you feel? A new creature. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. I think I'm going to be, uh, I think I'll be a good parent, though. Yeah. Yeah, in some ways. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's yeah. all take bets. How fucked up is Toby's child going to be in 13 years? Um, what should you fucking say? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not great. fucked up at all. I think he's going to be very, I think it's a very confident. Pr- pretty perfect child. Wonderful child. Okay, you guys good, good can't, you guys can't, you guys can't say on, yeah. what I say. You have to do something different. Oh, okay. oh. Yeah, don't copy his answer, bro. <laughs> I think Toby's kid's going to have two, kid, hot, two kid. hot moms. It's true, two hot moms. Two hot moms. Let's go. Two mills. Imagine the power. What? Being raised by two milfs? <laughs> what do you mean? The power? Dude, what? Like it's an... What do you mean? Like it gives you a stat boost yeah. if you're raised by two <laughs> milfs? Stat boost. Yeah, charisma. It's like women will find you extra friendly. Women? Yeah. What? what if you were raised by two moms, you, you'd be like... Right. You know, you'd be in with the girls. Yeah, but I'm more sexist <laughs> than most men. That's true. Well, <laughs> no, I'm just not. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you might be a mom, but you're still just acting like a fucking cruel... Yeah. Beat stepdad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna hate my child. Yeah, no, yeah, it's gonna be very interesting when that baby pops out that pussy. Yep, yep, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> At least gonna be popping puss, and then I'm gonna be, uh, you know, walking around with mini Toby. Yeah, are you gonna get a papoose? <laughs> I just imagine. Yeah. Toby the names? Can we get some name name nah, nah, name nah, leaks? No, 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 name leaks. I just imagine. So we have. It's gonna be called Mason Junior. Oh, oh, Mason oh, Junior. No. That kid's that's gonna cursed. be fucked up. <laughs> <That's cursed. laughs> no, 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 that's like the easiest <laughs> legacy ever to fulfill. <laughs> <That's Yeah. fine. laughs> just get it. Get it. I was hoping for something cool like Megatron. Look, I, I'm, a, I'm actually only having a child because my channel's falling off and family content makes bank. True. I thought you just wanted to... <laughs> yeah, ice family. Yeah. I thought you just wanted to accessorize. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. You just have the, you have the little papoose with the little baby fucking Is that what that's around. called, a papoose? Yeah, it's a papoose. Native oh. American. Too. I had no idea what a papoose was when you asked it's before. It's like the little backpack that goes backwards and you stick your fucking disgusting child in and it throws up all over you. No, my child's <laughs> going to sit in my handbag like a little chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just speaking out. Yeah. Just box it people because it's get, so badly dude, raised. You get, right. fucking, you get, you get a mind for your, for your purse. Yeah. You're just like, oh, oh, yeah, take it. 
Yep, he's taken. He's your problem, man. <laughs> Are you gonna be like a leash parent? You gonna put your baby, like your child, or a toddler, in a leash? Look, make sure it's tight around the neck. You don't want him to get like wriggling free. No, I, I don't want to put my child on a leash. People already think I'm racist. Yeah, yeah. Leash kids don't seem to turn out too good. Yeah, like, need to do free range. Free range kids free don't range turn out kids. too well either. It's true. It is kind of a mixed bag. <laughs> Mitchell, what's the best way to raise a kid? <laughs> well, I've been looking into uh, natural births a lot on YouTube recently. And natural seems, births? Yeah, it seems like a nice way. Did to your Did your Pornhub subscription run out? <laughs> what, what, are you lo- what are you looking at this for? That's my YouTube is, shorts. Dude. It's awful. YouTube shorts? What does that mean? Natural birth? Like just. In like a bathtub. It's when you just in like let it happen. Time. I've it's actually it's heard that natural births are like way less painful and way faster. Mm. Yeah, like I mean, pr- have you have you Wait. ever seen a natural birth? Usually the women go, <laughs> and then and then a baby like pops in the water for yeah. some reason isn't drowned. Swagger just once again showing how much he understands women. Yeah, um, <laughs> childbirth isn't even that bad. <laughs> yeah, I've it's seen not. <laughs> Elise is t- she, she needs to stop her whinging. Yeah, right. You know. <laughs> She she thinks it's hard for her growing a baby. What, what does she think it's like for me? Yeah, imagine how. What, what is it like for you? I gotta see it. <laughs> <laughs> is she kicking around? I gotta like imagine the fact that there's gonna be a kid. Like God, she's so selfish. True, <laughs> true facts. That's kind of crazy, Toby. You you do give big mom energy though. Yeah, well, you know, I've always wanted a kid. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's like another thing on the list. Imagine, dude. Imagine <laughs> it's like all I want the that Gucci bag. <laughs> you get all I the kids. I want kid. that car. You get a, you I get want a, that kid. You get a ton of benefits with a baby. <laughs> you can like go on rides for free. You can eat for free. Yeah, that's true. And you can go to Legoland. That's the you only reason Legoland. Lisa and I wanted you, to have a baby. Plus, you have an excuse. Uh, can I borrow, borrow him then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not, you're not allowed to go to Legoland unless you have a kid with you in in Skip Melbourne. The queue. It sucks. Really? Yeah. What? They, they, would, ha- they, they have would... adult nights, but I don't want to go to adult nights. What if I just dress up as a big baby? What if I just take you with me? Yeah, you, you go dress up like a big yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want to <laughs> build something bigger. Yeah. What, what's, <laughs> the, what's the biggest Lego build you, these days? Mason's going to go next to Legoland and start building a bigger Legoland. <laughs> 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 like, I'll show you. He fucks up like just an hour into it. He's going to deconstruct lo- the whole thing. I low key missed Lego streams. Yeah, those that were good streams. Cool. Yeah. They were funny. Yeah. yeah, remember when you blew up that Millennium Falcon? You threw it into the pool. <laughs> did, 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 was that that was the Taj Mahal. Dude, I don't know where the, the Millennium, Millennium Falcon, Falcon was. The Millennium Falcon was Swagger. Swagger oh, broke yeah. the Millennium that Falcon. That was yours. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, which you gave me permission for. It yeah, was yeah. For, it, was, it, was, it was for a bit in a video that was meant to be an ad. And then they, they it, like the bit was in, I tripped over the, the Lego like Millennium Falcon and broke it. And then I sent it to them for review, and they said, no, that's too dangerous. It was like, okay. <laughs> what? So I just destroyed Toby's body of Falcon <laughs> for no reason. I streamed building that for like 30-something hours, and I was like you got your money a screwed. quarter of the way through the book. Wow. That was why I let Swagger smash it, because I was like, I'm never finishing <laughs> this. Yeah, I don't think you guys are for this. There's just so much stupidity in the Misfits archives. There's just like so much lost footage. Like oh, a 100%. Deep, like a deep-sea chest what's the, what's full the, of moments. What's the lo- biggest, like... Weirdest lo- lost footage. The we one have. where you stabbed the cow when we went camping. You stabbed it with a oh, pocket yeah. knife. Oh yeah, remember you stabbed everywhere? that that cow and gutted it and then slept in it. Yeah, yeah. That we was thought it was a fucked. funny. We thought it was a funny bit in the moment, but then you were actually all covered in blood and shit. And yeah, like, that's Whoa. pretty fucked up. We were you're laughing like, the, until you, the stench came out. You like yeah. you like chewing on the intestine, but it broke and all the cut it like came into your mouth. You're yeah. like, ugh. And then Ever since like, then, you, you can't eat beef. Funny. Yeah, I'm vegan now. <laughs> 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 just beers for me. Yeah, just beers now. Yep, maybe you'll see some of those lost our lost uh, clips someday. Mitchell's what? what what's maybe your favorite you lost footage? Do you have any? You're putting them on the spot. He's Sorry, like, it's fine. You don't have to answer. He's, he's bouncing around. Like Mitchell's a, like when I had to see Mason's cock forty <laughs> times <laughs> and blur it. <laughs> the uh, the fight between Mason and Matt was pretty interesting. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Oh, that's oh, lost dude, footage that's right lost there. That's lost as hell. It's burned into my fucking notice how, strip of my brain. <laughs> notice how I'm not wearing the Supreme hoodie ever again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what happened to that? <laughs> Wait, yeah. during the notice Tazzy how I don't have the dude, Civic that hoodie, anymore. That hoodie's still in Tazzy. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if the if Matt's car is still there. Ooh, that's a good question. Well, He's parked the, on the, the side the of the road. I wish we knew exactly where it was so we could we say... We yeah, don't know. We, well, we, we, we did. No, I mean, it's not going to be there three months later. Dude, that thing's <laughs> no. a cube. That thing has been crashed into a cube and a junkie. I don't know. It was, it was in an area where, like... Wait, what's this? People wouldn't or, see or it. Or car. It which was, which we're, one? We're talking about... Behind her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Guys, we're talking about Matt and Mason... Uh, sorry. 
Matt and Swagger's car uh, from the Tazzy vlog, which they just left on the side of the road <laughs> what in the Tasmania. You couldn't move it. Dude, you just left it there. Yeah. Just left it I there. Mean, tell, tell them where it is. It's outside. Tell them where it is. You want the GPS location? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, course. It's, it's, it's outside. outside of you just tell them. It's outside of a horse farm <laughs> at the bottom of a hill in Hobart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know the one. If you find it, Please, like, s- send us a photo. Yeah, or take something. a little picture of it. Yeah, hotwire it and drive I it to, like to us. You, you can't. It's the, the the reason why it was left there is because when it went it's down the fucking hill, broke the it. fucking uh, the, the the oil pan <laughs> blew out. Oh, I think yeah. I think didn't I didn't like one of the rods shoot from the engine into the into the oil pan and bust We're it? not sure, but the fucking yeah, there's a big old. There was a, there was hole a in the giant massive hole in the oil pan, and it spilled oil everywhere along this. Do you want farm? the? I got the coordinates. If someone yeah, wants yeah, to go yeah. find well, it, yeah, well, read it out. It's what forty two fifty thirty four point zero, one forty seven twenty two. 25.2. Good thing it wasn't registered in your name at the end of the day. Yeah, good thing it wasn't. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you tell the story about that call you got? Oh, yeah. Fucking yeah. just randomly months later, some dude calls me. He's like, hey, do you have a Honda Civic? I'm like, <laughs> I used to. Yeah, why? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm the previous owner. I'm like, no, I bought it from someone else. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm the owner before him. Um, When'd you buy it? I'm like, back in like February or something. Why? He's like, okay, I'm just going to Submit it to Vic Rhodes that it was sold then. I'm like, wait, you never transferred it to the previous owner yet. He's like, nah. What the so fuck? Oh. We didn't even technically register it from the previous owner. It's still like two owners back. So And and Matt was like, okay. Pretty much, yeah. Like <laughs> He was like breaking up at one point. I just hung up. I'm like, yeah, I don't like, want to deal with this shit. You're like, wait, what was that? It's, it's, I, I, I'm going through a tunnel. Fucking... <laughs> So it's not in your name at all? Nope. nope. Okay. It's probably just chilling there with like a notice of fucking abandonment on it. That's probably what it is. It's got to be a cube. There's we'll, no way. We'll go back to that spot someday and we'll try to find it. It won't be there. There's no you way. Know, you know, you never know. It would only get taken away if someone reported it. Yeah, dude. The fucking it's farmer right comes outside farm, and sees yeah. this. The farmer's not going to give a shit. He's not going to care that there's a fucking Honda Civic with like a commie symbol and a fucking ru- like, oh, like yeah. a, oh, yeah. a fucking Russian flag on the hood. <laughs> I mean, it's just by his farm. It's like an honest farm. Whatever, it, it was pretty close Probably an to an animal farm. farm. Maybe I'll leave it. Yeah, it was just a little, uh, we, we got to pet a horse. This is pretty cool. I got to pet a horse and a goat. I'm sitting well, here well, like crying. Well, he's crying I'm over sitting here crying over it. Crying my over baby. It. My poor baby. He's like, hey, horsey. Yeah, he's petting a little horse. I'm like, hey, buddy. You're very cute. Oh, you got little lips. And then and then I look back at Matt, and he's just like fucking like tearing everything he can out to salvage it. <laughs> we still laugh like a massive inverter in there, didn't we? No, that's in the van that's now. That's in the van now. Anyway, the speakers are there. I, I reckon I reckon some dude Someone just went by, punched the window punched out, the yeah. window yeah. out this, this grabbed the, the fucking bass, and then just left. <laughs> there's, a, there's another little bit of lost footage in the bong making video. Our friend Gatsby went and got a Misfits tattoo. Oh, oh yeah! Oh, but, right. but it was just like the worst footage ever, and no one reacted in any way possible. And it was so out of context that our friend would just get Misfits tattooed on him while we were making bongs. We just didn't include it. <laughs> it was the worst footage I think he I've ever seen. He got a tattoo seen. for the video, and then and it didn't get used. It didn't get used. <laughs> and now he just has that on him for life. I, th- I think the only time Gatsby shows off in that video is when he's taking a piss out the front of the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, wait. Didn't I tape him to a wall or something? Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, 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 it's yeah. a wall trying to burn it. Dude, our shit's so fucking scuffed. Uh, we really got to get our shit together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that, that's what was so crazy about this this newer shoot is that it was it felt professional. It was yeah. the yeah. least yeah. scuffed shoot we've ever done. It was it was the least scuffed shoot. For and it's because sure. we hired people to to, to help us. So it was, like, Ed. it was really just nice. Ed yeah. Ledge. Well, we hope you enjoy the video when it comes out. It shouldn't be too long, but then again, it might be years. Who knows? Uh, hopefully, it was us. <laughs> see you in uh, 2023. <laughs> 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 no, we got ideas. Yeah, we on. have we have uh, probably like one idea a month uh, that we're going to be shooting. Well, don't say that don't kind of shit. That. That's what the hell's <laughs> wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> what the, the fuck would you say that? <laughs> Bleep that. Well, wait, sorry, sorry. Mitchell, Mitchell's, <laughs> Mitchell. correct. Mitchell, Mitchell's just correcting me. You said three three ideas a month. Yeah. An idea a day, guys. An idea a day. If there's oh, one oh. thing the misfits hate, it's accountability. <laughs> 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 if anything goes wrong, blame Mitchell. Yep. Uh, He's at on Twitter. Is, <laughs> is he? <laughs> yeah, we actually told you guys the Tasmania video was going to be out on 420. <laughs> it's, it's actually Mitchell's fault. What do you mean, you guys? Yeah. Yeah. You Mitchell, guys. The funniest that thing guy. is that Mitchell was asleep during that. We were all sitting around the fire. He goes to the tent when we were in Tasmania. He goes to sleep. And we're on the misfits. And we're like, yeah, yeah, a month. 
Yeah, 420, that'll work. We, we won't even consult <laughs> the one guy who's going to edit the whole fucking thing. Yeah, 420, go for it. We were all like, he could do it. You woke up in the morning, he was like, what the fuck did you guys post? He's <laughs> like, we can't do that. He's like, what? Well, <laughs> How many terabytes of footage was the trip? Do you know, like, roughly? Uh, three, I think th- around three and a half terabytes. Three yeah. and a half terabytes. Yeah. Three times to find what you get. Over 100 hours of footage. Yeah. Many, yeah. many hours, many, many cameras. That had to be manually combed many, through. Many, many mics. A lot anyway. of swagger faces to be blurred. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, true. <laughs> that is a big time consumer. But it's out now, and you're enjoying it, obviously. You've oh, just yeah. come to this podcast after watching it. Yeah, Damn. obviously yeah. you've been enjoying it. I hope, it. at least. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, more shit on the way. Misfits still alive and well. Everyone's chilling. Everyone's vibes seem to be good. The sun's going down. We better get the fuck out of here, I reckon. Yeah. <laughs> From where? We're in the office. Yeah, I know. I mean, we better get the fuck out of the office. Yeah, well, yeah, let's get out of the office then. Okay. okay. I'm just going to get okay. back. got to hurry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. All right, well, guys. Well, Bye. I hope you enjoyed. This has yeah. been the Misfits Podcast. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you again soon. Yeah, we'll see you shortly, guys. Pour Bye. one out. Pour one out from <laughs> juice. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> I think you could probably believe it. <laughs> no shit. <laughs>